Hello lovely people, David here. Welcome to episode 17 of my noob let's play series where I attempt to learn and do all the things I missed out on in Minecraft over the last decade because I was too busy playing uh, in creative mode. So last episode we fixed the roof on the iron farm to be much less dodgy. We went hunting for ancient debris with exploding beds and with an army of iron golems survived a raid. This episode <clears throat> the vote was in and we're going for an ocean monument. Uh, I have actually done a monument in survival. It was just after they came into the game uh, but I, I didn't actually know what I was doing. I was armed only with iron gear and doors for breathing. Needless to say my character died many many times and I, I never found the treasure. But now we have access to water breathing potions, TNT, and I may just have a plan. So, step one. I need to get an ocean monument map from my cartographer. Step two. Once I've packed all of the things we need to get there and to get in, we have to go for a long walk. And step three, charging!
Welcome back from the fighting montage. It was surprisingly much easier than I expected, but also at the same time much more irritating. That bubble fire stuff the Guardians use hurts quickly when it gets you. And the swimming physics is quite annoying, especially when you're trying to flee with extra flee. I uh, I keep getting stuck on things. <laughs> but my character didn't die, so it's all good. My only real complaint was that it was quite hard to film underwater. If I had included my first person perspective footage, it would have made everyone, including me, motion sick. And making the replay mod not go into walls when turning was quite difficult. Which is why there was one point where you got a, a face of Elder Guardian um, just before it died. Sorry about that. <laughs> and it was also a little bit too dark at points. Um, there is apparently a way of making the water not so shady, but I haven't found it yet. I presume it's a light saturation mod or something. If you know which one it is, you know, comment and tell me so I can make the filming a little bit less painful. Um... Ironically, the walk to the Ocean Monument actually took longer than the primary raid. That was obviously helped along, amusingly enough, by a patch of magma passively taking out one of the Elder Guardians. Um, also, I wanted to show you this because I've only just learned it myself. I did not know that there was a way of making TNT work underwater. As you can see, there is an explosion and it pushes you back and it breaks stuff but the ground isn't destroyed. I'm not sure if it's always been this way, but you can make TNT explode and break ground by putting a block on it, like sand or gravel. Apparently the explosion physics states that when the TNT is lit and it's sitting in a water block, the water muffles the explosion, so blocks aren't broken. But when it's got sand or gravel on it, lighting the TNT makes it less solid, so the sand or gravel drops into the same space as the TNT, which then makes the explosion physics think that it's in the air, not in the water. So there's no muffling and it makes a glorious mess and helps you break into ocean monuments. How cool is that? Um, anyway, that was that was kind of fun. I was reminded that I'm not completely terrible at this game, even though I was silently swearing throughout the raid. As for next time, next episode um i'm not entirely sure what i should do yet if you have an idea please you know comment below i i do think seeing as we walked past it on the way to the monument that perhaps a woodland mansion might be a good time sometime soon as it let me know for now i have run out of time i hope you have a lovely fortnight see you next time and Aranita Sam.